If you are a person who's constantly checking your phone, right, here's some really bad news. It's increasing your anxiety. We also know that what happens is that often people check their phone because it makes them feel busy. Because we can't actually do two things at once. What you can do is start one, and then quickly flick to the other one, and quickly flick back, quickly flick back. And then you go, get home, and you've just got to calm yourself back down. So if you've ever finished a day and felt like your brain is like cotton wool, all those times when you think to yourself, now, where was I up to again? All those moments when you think to yourself, I went to bed, I thought I got a great night's sleep, and I've woken up and my head's just a little bit foggy. You don't have the space to settle down all those synapses, neurosystems that are just on hyperdrive as they're trying to process things. The problem with multitasking is you're actually microtasking and you're wearing yourself out. Because while you're busy doing something, you actually don't have the space to be innovative and creative. What we see is that often we say things like, a goldfish only concentrates for nine seconds. Here's the bad news. The data suggests we're only doing eight. Frightening. Why is it frightening? Because in eight seconds, you can't do anything that's creative. You can't have that innovative thinking. So if the data is telling us it's only eight seconds, even if you can concentrate for a minute or two, you're going to be better off. This is just a case of practice. When you notice yourself being distracted, bringing yourself back. What happens if you actually just turn your phone off? So here's the thing. Try setting your timer for 20 minutes and saying, whatever I'm doing, I'm not going to stop for the next 20 minutes. You'll be surprised how your brain starts to fire, how your deep thinking comes out, and you'll find solutions you never thought were possible. You'll be surprised how much you get done.